Hey church, welcome to day number 12 of our 30 days of prayer. I'm excited for revival and I, and I pray that you uh, have the same feelings as I do. I'm praying, I'm seeking God just like you are for personal revival and I believe that God's going to give it to us as we seek the Lord together. Uh, today as we come, it's Tuesday of course, April the 16th and we're praying uh, for obedience. The, our word today is obey. And we find our text here in 1 Samuel chapter 15 uh, as God deals with King Saul. King Saul had a, had a good start. And then we find the indictment in verse 17. He says, and, and Samuel said, When thou wast little in thine own sight, or wast thou not made the head of the tribes of Israel, the Lord anointed thee king over Israel. And and of course, Saul, he was humble, but then he became very prideful. And his pride uh, caused him to rebel. And in 1 Samuel chapter 15, Samuel is dealing with King Saul uh, in response to uh, his failure to obey. Uh, he had gone in and, and conquered Amalek, yet in, in victory, he was disobedient. And he did not destroy all the, all the livestock. He did not kill the king of Amalek. And so there's a lot of things, a lot of crime, a lot of sin that Samuel's dealing with uh, in the life of Saul. But the Bible says this in verse 22, And Samuel said, Hath the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? You know, sometimes in our minds we become so religious that we, we think we find valid excuses for our disobedience. But the greatest decision you and I can make today is to simply obey the Lord no matter what God says, no matter what we feel or what we think or what our perception of, this, of the situation might be. God always likes, loves obedience more than sacrifice. He says, behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rams. He says, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. And so today, as we pray together, may God help us uh, understand our personal need to obey. You know, we teach our kids that the song, Obedience is the very best way to show that you believe. What is revival? It's a new beginning of obedience to God. Let us be an obedient people. Father, we love you. We thank you for the word of God. And Lord, today as we pray together, we seek you for revival. And Lord, if there are any areas in our lives where we're not uh, obedient, we pray that you would help us understand uh, that we need to get rid of that rebellion and simply heed the word of God. And so, Lord, help us obey. Give us wisdom. And give us help in our pursuit of Christ. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. Lord willing, we'll see you back here tomorrow. God bless you.